Good afternoon, good afternoon. We had an amazing morning with our guests who discussed mental health as it relates to being stressed. And we are indeed too blessed to be stressed. We are so excited uh, about what's getting ready to happen in these next minutes. I am Dr. Gwendolyn Johnson. I am honored to serve as president of the iconic Indianapolis alumni chapter. We've been having a full week, a great week, an incredible week, most May week here with the Indianapolis alumni chapter. Uh, we've done uh, things that have addressed the uh, political side, the financial side, the educational side with our scholarship event last night. This morning, we are addressing mental health. We've done the health side of good food and eating and nutrition. We've talked about our finances. We've talked about the politics and how we need to be aware of what's happening in our political environment. This morning, we started addressing the mind, the body, and soul in a different way as it relates to stress. And so we are so honored this afternoon that you are joining us with the, the part of this session uh, that our Health Awareness uh, Committee under the leadership of SOAR's Jennifer Connor and SOAR Dr. Lindy Hayes, who couldn't be with us today. Her son is graduating from Howard, but in her absence, on behalf of the Health Awareness Committee and our chairs, Sar Connor and Sar, uh, Sar Hayes, and our iconic chapter, we are blessed this morning, this afternoon, that we have our soul, Monica Weirin, who will bless us again this year with yoga, because as we Hello know, there. the mind has to be, the body has to be, the soul are connected as a triune. So I'm going to turn it over to her so that she can do what she does. She'll yes. tell you a little bit about herself and the business that she does that continues to bless us year after year. Thank you again for joining us. Please go to our IndyDeltas.org page to see the kinds of wonderful things that the near 500 women of this chapter do on a daily basis. Right now for May, we thank you for joining us for the events this week under the leadership of our May Week Chair, Stacey Moore and Pat Crendon. Again, thanks again. So Warren, it's yours. Thank you. Um, and like the title of the event today said, we are too blessed to be stressed. I'm too blessed to worry about whether I want my phone to face this way or that way. So you all caught me as I was just trying to get my camera uh, situated because I want you to get up close for this first part. Um, as Silver mentioned, we're gonna be doing some movement and some mindfulness together today. But um, that yoga and the breath work and all of those things that you might see when you re you know Google yoga or you look up yoga videos, it starts with the breath. So that's one of the reasons why I was trying to get a little bit closer here. Um, my um, passion is rehabilitating nervous systems. Uh, we've been through a lot you and I over the last few years with the pandemic and then just in life. We've each had journeys that have taken us through um, tough times, really beautiful times, but really tough times too. And whether good or bad, those things get stored in the mind. And as we learned last hour, the mind travels through the whole body. It's not just in your brain. It is your entire nervous system. Every nerve ending holds onto those memories, those beautiful, happy times as well as the really awful ones. So I love helping people discover the fact that their mind is coursing throughout their whole body and that they can use their breath to inform the mind to help the body. That's it. That is a, that's yoga. That is the work I do with my company, Good Moves, where we use breathing and mindfulness practices and movement like yoga. Sometimes it looks like dance, but it's always in an effort to help the breath inform the mind and tell the mind to tell the body what to do, to allow us to have that true connection and that true balance across all elements of who we are. Um, without going into a lot of detail, this practice and the work I do, um, I've been working in movement since about 2006, 2007, in my uh, previous life as dance ministry leaders for the churches I was with. Um, and I've since evolved that um, as I've aged and aged, maybe not aged out of dance ministry, but just moved into more day-to-day -day living. I realized that I need to be able to take that same feeling of mindfulness and, and feel good that I feel when I'm worshiping out into the world. And yoga has been that really beautiful practice. So I want to share that with you. 
Uh, just this idea of moving with intention and breathing with intention and letting your breath tell the mind to tell the body how to feel, how to move, how to hold on to stress. We're not too blessed to be stressed, but we're too blessed to hold on to it. We can use the breath God gives us in our bodies to breathe in and tell the body to let go. There is no more waiting to exhale. We're about to exhale right now. All right, so go ahead and get comfortable. Find a nice seated position, either in a chair or on a mat. And I just invite you to just get comfy and settle into the sits bones, which are the inside the butt cheeks there, and just let yourself get nice and balanced. Nice and comfortable in the room that you're in. And now in the body that you're in, just let yourself find some stillness in this body you live in, in the home that you truly live and reside in. It's the only home that you will truly, truly own for your lifetime, this, this body of yours. So get comfy there. And when you're ready, I want you to just start noticing your breath so you don't have to change it or do anything to it, but just notice it. Notice how that inhale is coming in and how it's leaving. How is it entering the body? And how is it leaving the body? Let's take a couple of moments to do this. Just noticing the gentle rise of your chest as you fill the air down through the lungs into the ribs, lifting the chest up at last. And as you exhale, feeling that chest lower as the lungs are softening and letting go of that old stale air. Now this time I'd like for you to inhale in through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. See if that feels good. Inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. I'm actually gonna turn the music off here because I want you to hear the sound of your breath, the rhythm that is created as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling out of the mouth. With this next inhale, see if you can take a slightly deeper sip of breath. So inhale in, take a deeper sip of breath. Exhale it out. Let's try that again. Inhale in through the nose. Take that deeper sip of breath at the top. Letting yourself fill in with a little bit more oxygen. Yep. And exhale it out. Do that a couple more times on your own. Let yourself inhale naturally, but then take that nice little sip of breath at the top. And exhale it out. Last time, inhale in. Take that nice little sip. Exhale out. What you're doing is you're letting the lungs know that it can not only breathe, but it can breathe more deeply. It can breathe with intention. So that regular breathing that we do, that we already know how to do, the thing that keeps us alive, like that's, that's not what we're doing. We're taking that intentional breath, that next sip of air. So as you inhale and take that extra sip of air just for yourself, that intentional breathing that says, okay, this one's mine and exhale it out. You're telling the nervous system that you are in rest and digest. So inhaling that another sip and exhaling it out. It's letting the body know with that exhale that it's okay to rest in this moment. In this moment you're creating by getting still and by letting yourself breathe with intention. Let's do it one more time together. Inhale in, take that nice little sip. Exhale it out. If you're sitting in a chair, you can stay seated in a chair, still stay nice and comfy. But if you're on a mat, you're going to be on that mat and just let your body continue to feel settled. So we're inhaling and exhaling, taking in that nice sip of breath on the inhale through the nose and exhaling out on that deep, deep exhale out of the mouth. We're gonna add a little motion to it. Now, on the inhale, you're gonna let your chin come up. Let the head fall back and the chin's gonna come all the way up, pointing toward the ceiling. That's your inhale. Your exhale, 
It's melting all the way down, letting the chin come to the chest, feeling the softness in the back of the neck as you exhale. Do that again. Inhale in. Letting the chin come up. Exhale it out. Now, follow your own inhale as you're inhaling it through the nose. Deeply inhale. Take that sip of breath at the top, letting the chin come up, feeling the expanse in the chest, ribs, and belly. Exhale, blow it out. This breathing is so important that we're taking the time to do this here together. Inhaling in. Pulling in that beautiful new inhale of oxygen in through the chest, ribs, belly. Exhale out. Let it fall out of the mouth, that old stale air, as the chin comes to the chest. Do that three more times. Just listening to your inhale and exhale. I'm going to give us our beautiful travel music now to let our bodies travel as we're breathing, right? So we're inhaling in. Exhale out. Letting the chin come to the chest. Feeling that softness in the back. Okay, let's do it one more time together. Inhaling in. Breathing deeply. Pulling in that fresh oxygen. Exhale it out. You're going to take your fingertips now and place them either on your lap if you're in a chair or on the floor in front of you if you're on the mat or if you're on the floor. And I want you to just still keep that nice softness in the back of your neck, bringing the chin to the chest. And we're going to sit here in this seated position here, getting rooted and allowing the mind to just soften and visualize this idea of you rooting and getting planted almost by the water in this restorative pose here. It's a chance for us to feel with each fingertip the rooted either lap underneath us if we're seated in a chair or the solid ground underneath us if we're on the floor. From here, I want you to inhale in, bringing the chin up, keeping the hands nicely planted right where they are. And on your exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward. So walking the hands forward on the mat or down your legs if you're in a chair. You're gonna do that again. Inhale in, exhale. Walk the fingertips forward. You're going to start feeling a really good stretch in the backs of the arms, down the sides of the body, and into the hip rotators. This is a wonderful way to warm up into the idea of moving the breath and the body together. And it's just a good way to stretch into the hips, right? So inhaling here and exhaling. Find that nice, nice stretch for yourself. And then let your chin come back to your chest. face to the side so you can see what this looks like from the side. This is a seated forward fold either over those crossed legs if you're on the floor or maybe your legs are straight or maybe you're sitting in a chair. No matter what, you are folding forward, lifting the upper body out of the lower body, unlocking it from the hips. and breathing down and into the shape that you're making. Soften your forehead. If you have any tension there, allow that exhale to chase any of the tension or any of the tightness you might feel in your forehead. Soften into the back of the neck there. As you breathe, good. From here, let the fingertips walk over to your right. So if you're in a chair, you're just gonna bring both arms to the right side of your body there. If you're in the, on the mat, you're just going to be walking the fingertips to the right, getting a nice stretch down the left side of your body now. We're gonna add a little bit of motion here. I'm stacking my hands on top of each other. So that left hand is on top of the right hand. When I inhale, I'm gonna lift my left elbow, inhaling almost creating this peekaboo underneath that left elbow, but creating a really good stretch in the back of the left side. This is the inhale. Exhale, lowering the elbow, folding back down. Do it again. Inhale, lifting that left elbow. If it feels good, you can lift the left hand even. Exhale it down. 
just softly connecting the breath with the mind so that it's telling the body what to do. We're telling the body to calm down, that we're not fighting or fleeing right now. We're resting. We're regulating that nervous system with the inhale. Definitely with that exhale. Do this two more times on your own. Inhaling, softening the forehead. Exhale, softening the forehead. Nice job. Go ahead and walk those hands back to the center. Let's come over to the left side. So these small movements are a big deal. It is connecting the breath to the mind, to the body. And it's a nice way to practice this idea of inhaling with intention and letting the mind guide the body in, a, in an intentional way. So from here, we're stacking that right hand on top of the left. The hands are over to the left. Getting settled back into this shape again. When you're ready, you can inhale, lifting that right elbow, maybe the right hand's coming up, stretching down that right side of the body, exhale it out. Inhaling it up, exhaling it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Do it two more times, inhale it up. Good. Walk the fingertips to the middle. Getting that nice, lovely fold one more time. Stretching the fingertips as far away from your body as possible. So down the mat or down the legs there. And then slowly come up. Feeling that extension in the back as you allow those vertebrae to slowly stack. One vertebrae at a time. yourself back to that seated position let your shoulders fall away from your ears and if you have to shimmy them away feel free to do that but we're telling those shoulders to calm down to rest to stop stop being earrings and be shoulders again so send those shoulders away from the ears if you were sitting with your legs straight apart or straight, I'd like for you to bring them in so that you're touching the soles of the feet together. If you're in a chair, uh, this might be a good time to just gently find your way to a mat or maybe to um, your sofa or a bed, something that allows you to bring the soles of the feet together. It's a really good opportunity to stretch into the hips where we store a lot of um, energy and emotion, especially as women right here in our hips area. Okay, so we're just gonna give those a moment to rest and digest. Bringing the soles of the feet together, just rock from side to side. So we're not fluttering the butterfly wings. We are just gently rocking from side to side. You may be fe feeling this in the inner part of the legs or also in the outer part of the legs though, but definitely in the um, inner thigh there, just rocking side to side. gonna let the knees get settled find that nice comfortable position for yourself to let your knees settle if it feels good just invite you to place your hands on your shins right so placing the hands on the shins letting the shoulders melt away from the ears no more shoulder earrings we're gonna do that same inhaling and exhaling but this time as you inhale you're gonna Allow your chin to come up. You're gonna press in on the palms of your hand, almost creating an arch to the back. This is called a seated cat pose. In yoga, it's the cat pose, and we can do it seated and also um, on the hands and knees. We're gonna start with this right now. So this is our inhale. The chin is up and we're arching into the back. Ex inhaling, exhaling. <laughs> we're gonna send that old air out of the body, curve into the back, letting the back come all the way back rounding it out, sending the chin to the chest. This lovely stretch here is called the cow pose. So good for the back, so good for the lungs. So do it again, inhaling in, bringing the chin all the way up, setting up for that lovely exhale. 
melds your chin down to the chest, curving the back. Releasing into that cow pose. Let's do it two more times together. We'll turn to the side so you can see what it looks like. As you're inhaling, lifting up through the chest, sending the chin up to the ceiling. Exhaling, letting that old air dump right out of the body. Exhale it out, push it out. You don't need it anymore. Rounding into the back there. Good. You should be feeling this all up the spine. It is a wonderful massage for the lower back, the shoulder blades, and it allows you to release that old air. Do this three more times on your own. I just want you to listen to your breath as you inhale into this cat pose. Exhale into this cow pose. exhale I want you to push I want I invite you to push that exhale out of your mouth let it make a sound your body is feeling the sound of that exhale and it's hearing the sound of that exhale so it's audible and it is a physical signal to the body and to that nervous system to release into whatever is happening in that moment we're going to take this cat cow and transfer it to that tabletop position. So if you are on your mat, I invite you to come into tabletop. I'll turn my mat around so you can see this. And you're going to place your hands and knees on your mat here. Your wrists are going to be right underneath your shoulders. And if you have any wrist sensitivity, you can always put a fist down. And your knees are right under your shoulder, your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. And this is where you can fold the mat and maybe place your knees on top of that folded part of the mat to offer a little cushion if you need that. So take your time, get into a comfortable tabletop position. And we're gonna take that same motion of that inhale and exhale and begin to travel with it. So we're going to inhale. Remember you're creating an arch in the back. This time it's dropping the belly down and you're lifting the chin up. This is our cat pose, our cow pose. We're gonna exhale it, curving that back, going into this cat pose. So that's that, that's that exhale. Inhale it, dropping the belly, coming into a cow pose. Exhaling it out, curving the back, feeling that lovely stretch down the spine. Do this twice more on your own, inhaling and exhaling. And moving through, connecting your breath and the mind to the shapes your body's making. Keep exhaling. That signal is being listened to by the body and the lungs can feel it, your body can feel it, your nervous system can feel this exhale. No more waiting for it. We've got this right now with each inhale. We are ready to exhale. Good job. Let's go ahead and come back to that neutral tabletop. So you're taking your body back into the neutral back neutral spine and you're going to curl your toes under now so we're going to start making our way up into a standing position so curl the toes you're going to lift the knees off of the mat and then slowly straighten into the knees this is called down dog so if you've seen in yoga classes people getting into this upside down v shape this is called down dog it is a really helpful stretch for the whole body so as you're in the shape you might feel it in the triceps down the underarms, which is great for shoulder mobility, in the side body, and in the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. And if you spin the heels toward the mat, you'll feel it in the calves also. So take a moment to just feel how you're feeling in this uh, down dog here. When you're ready, you can bicycle those, those uh, heels there. So one at a time, just lifting and lowering those heels 
bicycling out of that down dog here. And then we're gonna start lifting and lowering the feet. So one at a time, it's almost like you're marching. Right. And then let's lift and lower the hand and then start walking those hands toward your feet. So you're actually coming into this forward fold here when you do that. This is another really good shape here. Allowing your body to reconnect with the mind in this inverted shape. You're sending oxygenated blood up through the brain stem into the brain. And with our head hanging down, we're quieting the mind. We're telling the frontal lobe to stop doing all of the thinking and doing and executive functioning and planning and thinking and just rest. And we're telling the amygdala that there is no need to fight or flee right now. Life's not always about fight or flight. We can rest. Soften the knees. Make sure that your legs aren't locked. Those knees be locked. And allow your body to just enjoy a moment of stillness. If you'd like, you can even grab at your elbows and deepen that stretch. Almost feeling your upper body unlock from the lower body. Check in with your breathing. This shape if you need to inhale in through the mouth and exhale out of the mouth feel free to do that if you have allergies or anything that's getting in the way of you being able to breathe freely change it you can change it you can breathe you can breathe deeply so find your deep breathing and let go of the elbows if you had your elbows soften the knees you're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time so you're slowly making your way to standing slowly letting the body um, straighten up into its standing going through the day kind of shape and then just send your shoulders back so no shoulder earrings send those shoulders back and we're going to be in a shape called the mountain pose so it looks like this just a basic stance of shoulder width apart feet shoulders back chin neutral and your hands are going to be kind of splayed out let yourself stretch into those fingertips reconnect with the breath drop the shoulders When it feels good, I want you to just drop your right ear over to the right shoulder. Just stretching into the side of the neck here, keeping those fingertips nice and stretched. You will notice the stretch down the left side of your neck there. So all down that muscle, that upper trapezoid muscle, down through the, uh, down through the top of the shoulder. Stretching into the left side of the neck there. If it feels good, you can even nod your head. So keep that tilt and just see what it feels like to nod the head. Feeling that loveliness, that stretch pass through the front of the neck, through the side of the neck, into the back. The type of yoga we're doing here right now is it's deeply restorative. There's still movement, but it's not about fancy shapes, you guys. It's not about the dancer pose or those fancy pretzel shapes. Those are those are fun, those have a purpose. But right now, we're telling the breath to tell the mind, to tell the body that it's okay to be calm. It's okay to let go of the stress. The stress might still be there, but we don't have to hold on to the grip. It can just be an awareness of stress, not the grip on stress. There we go. Let's go ahead and circle to the other side. Circle your head so that the left shoulder and the left ear meet. 
and stretching those hands out, stretching that right hand in particular so you can feel the stretch down the side of the left of the right side. Keep stretching into the right side of your neck there. Check in with your legs, make sure that those knees aren't locked. We're just gonna add a little movement now. Let the body know that it's okay to move and be active and still be calm. We can we can do all of the things. It's all about connecting that breath with the mind. So go ahead and bring your head back to neutral. We're in that mountain pose. You can stay here with the fingertips out at your side, or if you want to bring them to your heart in a prayer pose, um, that is it is your choice. I I'm at prayer pose, but you you do what feels comfortable to you. And right now, when you're ready, we're just going to breathe in and lift up those hands. Send the, uh, the hands up and the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Send the hands back down. Let's do it again. Inhale them up. Lifting those hands up. up shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Bring it back down. Last time this way. We're going to inhale up. Shoulders are going away from the ears. I'm literally sending them down and then exhale back to center or back to the sides this time we're going to inhale up shoulders are away from the ears this time give yourself a little back bend here feel that loveliness there as you stretch into the front of the body and pinch into the lumbar giving it a nice little dose of energy we're going to exhale and bend forward diving forward melting into that forward fold and let your head come all the way down, sending the top of the head toward the floor. Inhale. You're going to come up halfway. Just creating this neutral spine here. Exhale. Melt down. Feeling that lovely stretch again. Inhale. Come on up. Reversing that swan dive. Giving yourself a nice back bend at the top. Exhale those hands back to your original spot. So whether they were here at the side or at your heart. All right, let's do that one more time together. Inhale up. Let yourself back bend. Exhale. Dive forward into this sense of relaxation as you go into your forward fold. Good. Feel your back literally unlocking and feeling those vertebrae unstack. As you exhale. Inhale, you're gonna come up halfway. This is that tabletop back, but we're standing up, so this is halfway. Exhale, deep and back into that forward fold. Let's inhale, swan dive it back up. Exhale it, come back to center. Just let your body come back to that original mountain pose that you chose and breathe again. Reconnect with that breathing. Allow yourself to inhale and exhale. Noticing how you feel. You just remain still in the body, but actively and intentionally inhaling with that beautiful inhale, with that little sip at the top if you need it, to just remind the lungs to breathe more deeply. Inhale it in again. Sip at the top. Exhale. We're going to add on to this. Let's inhale together, bringing the hands up, shoulders away from the ears. Give yourself that little back bend and exhale, forward fold. You're going to step the right foot back. We're going to put the right knee on the mat. So we could go into all kinds of awesome complex shapes but for today and for our intention of just releasing into the sense of calm we're just going to start with the knee on the mat i want you to just notice anywhere that is stretching for yourself if this stretch is good and you're seeing it in the quads i just want you to notice and inhale and exhale into into that area if you're feeling it in the back Allow your mind and attention to send some love to the back as you inhale and exhale. And 
I'd like you to just walk your hands up your knee now and sink back into that stretch on your exhale. Good. On the inhale, let's come back up. Straightening that leg out a little bit. On the front, I mean, bringing that knee to that 90, 90 degree angle. Exhale, sink back down into that stretch. Good, inhale in again. And sink back down. Good, let's place the hands on the mat. Curl those right toes up, under. You're gonna step that right foot forward now. Go back into that forward fold. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale and come back down to either your sides or to that prayer pose. Let's add on. Inhaling, bringing those hands up. Exhale, forward fold. You're gonna step your left foot back now. So we're gonna step the left foot back and then place the left knee. This is about getting grounded and anchored, allowing yourself to feel what your body feels like when it's in shapes that is unfamiliar and then use the breath to bring a sense of calm to the body. That is why people do yoga. That's why we do those shapes to allow the body to be in a different shape and allow the breath and the mind to keep it calm. All right, let's go ahead and inhale here. Straightening up into this low lunge. Exhale, press down and melt into it. Feeling that nice stretch in the quad on the left side now. You might also feel it in the hamstring on the right. Inhale. Exhale. We're allowing the breath to tell the mind that this isn't fight or flight. This is just a chance to rest the body in a different way. As we inhale up, exhale into that low lunge. Good, last time here, inhale. And exhale. Just curl those toes in the back there on the left. Lift up into that high lunge. You're going to step the foot forward. Forward lunge. We're going to keep the moves small and deliberate today as we inhale, coming back up. And exhale those hands down. Let's add on. Inhaling up. Exhale down, step the right foot back again. This time you're gonna raise both hands up as you inhale. So this is our low warrior one. The warrior one, a high warrior one would be with that right knee straight. If you'd like to do that, you are welcome to. But if you also wanna stay in that low lunge, this is also warrior one. So find your version of your warrior. And what we're gonna do here is we're inhaling, and on our exhale, we're bending the elbows right here. We're gonna keep the elbows bent. Inhale. And now exhale, close the elbows. So that's our move here, slow flowing movement here. Inhale, the elbows up, out I mean. Exhale them up. Inhale them back down. Exhale them closed. Just connecting the breath, the mind, and the body. We do just that today. We have had a beautiful practice. Inhaling the elbows open. Exhaling them out. Last time, inhaling them down. Closing them back up. Good. Go ahead and drop the hands. Curl the right toes under. Step the right foot forward. Come into that forward fold. Inhale up. And exhale back to mountain pose. Just notice how you're doing in this moment. Notice how you're breathing. Notice how you're feeling. And if your breathing is choppy, use that intentional put your oxygen mask on first breathing as you inhale. And then take that extra sip. And exhale. Let's do it on the other side here. One more time. I'm sorry. Let's breathe one more time together and then we'll move. Inhale. 
take that nice little sip and exhale. let's go to the other side inhaling those hands up we're going to exhale down step the left foot back really just focusing in on this idea of allowing the breath to regulate the mind to tell the body what you want it to do you can stay here in this low lunge for warrior one bringing the hands up or you can keep those curl toes curled and lift up into a high lunge for warrior one so pick whichever one feels good to you all right so for our inhale we're in Inhaling, straightening into that either straight leg or our warrior. Exhaling, bringing those elbows together. I'm just demonstrating it in the high lunge now this time. Inhaling those elbows out. Exhaling, hands up. So just connecting the movement of the lower body and the upper body and the breath. Inhale, the elbows down. Exhale them closed. Last time, inhale those elbows out. Exhale them up. Inhale them down. Exhale them closed. Beautiful job. You can go ahead and drop those hands. If your knee was high, you can drop the knee. You all, as I was doing this last movement of ours, I just saw a red cardinal go by my window. Um, that beautiful reminder that God has got us he sends angels and resources and breath for us to be able to tap into to allow us to not be stressed. So if you're in tabletop, go ahead and sit back into the child's pose here. Let me focus on a final moment here, but it's just a beautiful reminder that we're too blessed to stay stressed. Stressors are going to come. Allow yourself to sit back in that child's pose and drop the forehead to your mat or to your floor. Almost like you're creating this ramp for the stresses to roll right off of you. They still exist, but they don't have to live on you, right? They don't have to dwell in you. Your body will hold onto them if you let it. So we're taking time to connect with the breath, to let the mind tell the body that it's okay to relax and that stress is inevitable but our suffering of it is optional our grip on it is optional inhaling and then exhaling is your way of signaling to your body that it doesn't have to stay stressed I invite you to stay in this lovely little child's pose. If this feels good to you, if you feel like you want to stretch out and get into an even deeper stretch or relaxation, you can come down to your mat into this shape called crocodile pose, where you stack your hands on top of your mat, and then you just place your forehead on top of your uh, stacked hands. It's another really great way to just bring calm. And the last option, if you want, you can roll onto your back. Let your feet extend down the length of your mat and let your hands come to your sides. Gooch your shoulders away from your ears and just let yourself reconnect with the foundation of your breath informing your mind to let the body know that it can be calm. It can de-stress. It can release anxious physiological feelings. It can, it can release the grip on stress or loss. and come home. I want to thank you so much for 
being here. Please continue to breathe deeply. That extra sip of breath, that's for you. That's why we started so close together. I came up right on this camera to tell you that for every breath you take in your regular world, you already know how to do that, right? You don't need to know how to do that, but you do need to know that that extra sip of breath is there for you to help you calm and bring a sense of well-being in your body. So whenever you feel like you need it, I just invite you to remember that and nothing else. That inhale, and then that extra sip, that little bonus sip, that is just for you. That is going to help your lungs hold on to and um, draw in more inhaled oxygen so that you don't have to wait to exhale. You can exhale and tell your body that it deserves to be calm. Continue to stay in this moment and thank you so much for, for being here and for moving your body in this way. And um, I pray you have a beautiful rest of your day, a wonderful and uh, healing and supportive Mother's Day and uh, a beautiful week next week. Thank you.